happy vlogmas. <laughs>Happy Vlogmas. It is Wednesday, December 1st, and I'm so excited to be doing Vlogmas for the first time. I definitely wanted to try it out. I thought it'd be really fun. Also a little bit different than my normal vlogs just because it is a lot of vlogging, so it's going to definitely be more raw, kind of my day-to-day, -day, and just like chill with you guys, talk to you guys, hang out kind of like some of my lives that I do here and there. So I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think. I asked a couple days ago whether you guys wanted to see a video every day or once or twice a week, and a lot of you guys said every day, but after speaking to some of my content creator friends as well as, you know, some of you guys actually reached out as well saying not to burn myself out, I've decided that I'm going to kind of meet in the middle, upload three or four times a week, which will still be a lot, so I hope that's okay. I am going to be doing 12 episodes up until Christmas and there's just so much going on here. I feel like the holiday season and vibes are immaculate. So definitely we'll be showing you guys around. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments down below. These past couple of weeks have been really hectic. A lot has been going on. I went home for Thanksgiving. There's so much I need to fill you guys in on. One of them being that I just moved to a new apartment and I can't wait to share more with you guys during Vlogmas. I filmed a little bit yesterday, so I'm gonna play that clip next, and then you guys will see today. Loser buys a smoothie. What's the, what's the thing? What? You can stay open the longest? Yeah, but you gotta, ha you gotta be in perfect form. Guys, I'm gonna win, don't you worry. Michelle, put your booty down. <laughs> That girl lost, guys. I got my smoothie. Just finished my nails. Love them. Good morning guys, it's December 1st. I'm starting the morning off with this beautiful passage and I thought I would share with you guys such a great way to start my mornings. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a lot of passages from this book, Journey to the Heart, but what a great way to start the month off.
so I am finished with my makeup. I'm going to actually show you guys finally the air wrap tutorial. I do have a perm, which I had mentioned, but this is what it looks like. I worked out yesterday, showered, and show you guys. This is kind of what it looks like um, when I don't blow dry it and just kind of leave it as is now. My hair has grown out a lot, but air wrap tutorial has been highly requested. I like to use the air wrap after I shower, or I think it works best. Um, I use the hair dryer that's on the air wrap, this tool right here, which I love. And then you dry it until it's like 80% dry, I would say. And then you use the air wrap. And the one works best when the hair isn't like fully dry. I'm gonna skip the hair drying part because my hair is already dry. And I would definitely say like, at first when I got the tool, I definitely didn't think it was worth it and it takes time getting used to for sure. So I've attached the wand, the arrow is facing outward so it's going to be on this side. So I'm just going to turn it on, I always keep it at the red, hot, high, everything. The biggest tip is that you only take a small chunk of your hair. I feel like that's what works best, so this much. Gotta let the wand do its job. So many times people will want to twist, but just leave it and let it catch the hair. This is the part that took a really long time for me to get used to as well, but now that I do know what to do, it literally takes me five minutes. As you can see, it's kind of bouncy. And I'm going to actually let down my hair because I'm going to do this top part as well. I think for me, I usually like to do three seconds hot, three seconds cold. So this is like the cool feature. One, two, three. I'm going to push up. One, two, three. I'm going to start with my bangs, this part. I also feel like for me, the air wrap looks best the day after. So now I've finished this side. I'm gonna show you guys again this side as well. But as you guys can see, this side is just a lot more voluminous than this side. Again, so putting on this wand facing outward. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. If I want, I could kind of give a little bit more volume up here, I think. And this comes with other tools. I like to use one of these to just kind of like push up the volume. I'll maybe show you guys. You just slide your hair back like this, brush it back into the center, and kind of just like do that. And then lift it up, and then do three seconds hot, three seconds cold, or else it'll really heat up your scalp. But again, so as you can see, I think this makes it give the volume. So I'm gonna turn it on. I think it gives a bit of that volume up here. Ooh, I think I did it. It definitely takes some trial and error, but I love the air up. It's great and now like a very essential part of my hair routine. I feel like I get tons of questions, so I wanted to finally show you guys. I don't know if this was like the best <sighs> explanation, but I'm going to get dressed and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Just got dressed. I'm wearing this black knit top. I also have it in white. Get tons of questions on it. I'm going to link something very similar down below. I got this one a couple years ago in London. Pairing them with my favorite mango black jeans and some black booties from Zara from a couple years ago as well. 
I'm gonna wear my totem coat. And before I do that, I'm gonna use my current favorite perfume. It's by Reto Ball de Freak. I finally brought it from home. Just one goes a long way. This is my favorite. Mmm. Yeah. I think it's my favorite. Mm. Happy birthday, dear Lois. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one too? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, one. Oh, hello, Santa. <laughs> came home after lunch, just been editing for a couple of hours, had dinner, and now I'm so tired, I'm trying to get into bed so I can have this vlog up for you guys. Tomorrow, I am going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine, and I thought I'd quickly show you guys some of the things that I've been loving. But starting with the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero, this is an all-time favorite, but this is like a big tub. Normally I get the one that's half this size, but I always run out. It's just, looks like this. And I think I prefer the cleansing balm over like anything else. Definitely not makeup wipes, but this gets everything off very well. It just melts. Next, moving into cleanser. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I am obsessed with this cleanser. And I was just waiting to do my nighttime routine just so that I could show you this product. I ordered both of these on Jolts. I'll leave the two links to my go-to website when I buy K-Beauty products. But this is a cleanser that was created by a really famous Korean dermatologist. And you guys can see, but they're like walnut pieces they help exfoliate without like stripping your skin and i am obsessed it's so good on days that i wear makeup i'll use this a couple times a week i have dry skin but this is just so good my skin just feels super clean after soft and this is what I wanted to really share with you guys today. Okay, so now moving on to skincare. I usually just like, I don't use a towel. I'm gonna move right into toner. This is the Kos RX Green Hero Pad. And at night, I like to use a pad. It's just really calming. And this is also a long time favorite. I just bought a couple new products. If you buy like over $50 on Jules, it should be free shipping. So I always do that, but I'm gonna just take two toner pads, leave it on my face. Mm -hmm. 
moving right into serum. I've been using this and I've been liking it. It's just very gentle on the skin. I like to use products that are gentle. Okay, and the moisturizer, you guys have probably already seen this, but it is the Physiogel Facial Moisturizer, and this is great for the winter year-round, but it's just so hydrating, moisturizing. When I wake up, my face doesn't feel dry because that's usually the first reaction in the morning. I love this. I've already brushed my teeth. The last thing that I like to use is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And it smells really good. I also love the berry. That's probably my favorite scent. But I'm seeing this. When I wake up, I still have this lip mask on. So yeah, this is the night routine that I've been doing and I love all of them. I'll also put them in the description box if you want to check it out. So this was the first day of Vlogmas. It's crazy. We have a whole month ahead of us. Thank you guys for tuning in and for all the love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.